Watch the finalists' reaction to the winner of Drag Race UK Season 4. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 4 came to an exciting conclusion with finalists Black Peppa, Cheddar Gorgeous, Danny Beard, and John Burr's Blonde competing to snatch the crown. The four finalists had a chance to win. It was clear that the finale would ultimately come down to two of the frontrunners of the season, Beard and Gorgeous, who had each won four maxi challenges and never landed in the bottom two. Peppa, Gorgeous, Beard, and Blonde were assembled together to watch the grand finale of Drag Race UK Season 4, and their reactions to the crowning were shared in a video. Given that only Gorgeous and Beard got to lip-sync for the crown, the two queens sat in the middle while watching the finale. They even held hands when the time came for RuPaul to announce the winner. The newly crowned queen says, quote, I hope that this moment opens doors for many different kinds of drag on RuPaul's Drag Race. I hope drag kings get the opportunity to shine. Yes. I want to see more trans contestants, more contestants of color. Drag is anything you want it to be, and this country has so many amazing drag performers from all walks of life. So I hope that this is the start of something new. Who would have thought that a hairy bearded bitch like me would be able to do it? Time has come to crown our queen. The UK's next drag race superstar is Danny Beard. <laughs> Well, congratulations to the winner. <laughs> and uh, I am in 100% support of adding drag kings. And uh, I would, I'll compete on a, in a drag, <laughs> drag king contestant. Oh, I can see that. I yeah. love that a bearded queen won I yeah. love it UK. Too. Because, like, yeah. you know, there are so many drag race, Ru, you know, RuPaul's drag races. I don't watch all of them. I'm sorry. I don't, right? But UK is one of the ones that, like, everybody's like, you got to watch it. It's so good. That one, Canada, and I think Spain or something like that. And so to see a bearded queen win this, you know, we've got Auntie Mame on. It's happening out. We've got Jasmine Price Lords, who's always a friend of the show. And they're always saying about how difficult it is for a bearded queen to be respected. Right. Because uh, going up against all the pretty normal looking queens, right. you know what's uh, normal? Yes. You know there, you're a bearded queen. You're beautiful. Not normal, right? There, you know, there's nothing that we are different. That is what makes us so spectacular. That we use our differences uh -huh. and just bring them out to light and make them sexy and great and wonderful. And that's what this mm -hmm. this beautiful entertainer did. I mean, the yeah. spoiler just now was a little heartbreaking to me, but no, I will just, go back and Matthew. watch it later. Matthew, like this. La, 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 la. I was trying to not pay attention, <laughs> yes. but um, no, you know what's interesting to me is that RuPaul went back um, as we kind of started paying attention to uh, trans queens entering the U.S. competition. She went back and re-recorded a couple lyrics in a couple of the songs, and she also has changed certain things that she presents. Like she said, uh, she used to say, may the best woman win. Now she says, may the best drag queen win. Yeah. I wonder how they're going to incorporate the drag kings. And well, we may the best me. contestant May the best win. contestant win, exactly. Bring back my sure. queens or something. Bring yeah. back no, my contestants. I, I, I think that that observation is, uh, is so good. I, I, I worked uh, with the queens and, and RuPaul's Drag Race for a lot of years, uh, coordinating their travel around the world, their crew, their drag stars at sea, et cetera. Um, when I watch this, it's just a fresh reminder to me. UK wasn't uh, UK is not something that I really follow closely. Although congratulations, amazing moment. Um, but when I was watching that video, a weird thing washed over me, and it's exactly what you just said. Uh, when I started with the show, it was season two, and I was with the show until season seven. And um, a trans person was not only could not compete; it was openly and vocally discuss that yeah. you're not going to be a part of the show because it wasn't fair and, and exactly because you're 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 not a man is and interesting mm -hmm. it's the reverse of all of our conversation right. today 
and a, a bearded uh, drag queen or any kinds of diversity. There was a straight contestant mm -hmm. in the UK right. last year. Yes. Uh, a straight woman competed. That was impossible. When I was connected and, and, and working uh, in season three or season five uh, in Jinx's win or Bianca's win in six, this is impossible. Right. Mm -hmm. And I watch this and just go, holy crap, the world has changed. Mm. And that's a good thing. It is a yeah. great thing. It's a good thing. And I love that the show is is making a statement by making these changes yeah. and right. changing the verbiage of what they're using it and how. And you know, people. one other interesting thing, not to take it too serious and too far, because come on, we're talking about Ru RuPaul's Drag Race. It's an in, in, it's an entertainment show. Mm -hmm. It's not. This is the gay Super Bowl. Album. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> it's very important. You know, I worked with four or five thousand at a time, just like you, <laughs> uh, on, on the cruises. Well, you don't watch uh, football or soccer, so. Yeah. Right? So, uh, well, I, right. I am a football player, a football watcher too. Um, but what's interesting about it is it gives us the opportunity of having these changes to prove uh, to um, the radical uh, Christians or the radical mm -hmm. Republicans, you can follow some changes and find things actually get better. Mm -hmm. right? And that's what this moment proves in a different kind of way. But RuPaul... Uh, you know, t 10 years ago would have looked at this moment and said, the world's coming to an end. Right. And I think about Lady G in South Carolina on a vote on marriage rights on the Senate floor. Evolution is a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's coming no matter how embraced. much people resist it. Exactly right. Congratulations to RuPaul and RuPaul's Drag Race. Right. Awesome. That was a moment full of joy. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.